One, two, three, four. Yeah, go! Hey everyone, I'm Nina with 666 and you're watching me play Doom Eternal. We are back here on Sentinel Prime, wandering around. Probably going to get in trouble eventually, but so far I've just been wandering around reading things. As I am here to track down the last Hell Priest. Ooh, excuse me. Haha. <laughs> Yes. Oh, we got a boss fight up there. That's going to be fun. So, we got a boss fight to look forward to. Anyways. Let's collect some stuff. Because there are... Oh, no. I can't, I can't, I can't get in that way. However, will I cope? I know. I'll probably just go around this other way. And go, Wee! Say thank you for the suit token, and we'll take this extra life. How many suit tokens am I at right now? I have four. No, I have two. I have four. Four gun points. Do I want to spend more gun points on something right now? Uh, I already spent on that. That needs six. Uh, I think we will save. Let's do that. Shield time. Alright. Look, another lore page. Lots of reading today. History of the Sentinels, part 9. As the Black Star ascended to its zenith, King Novik sat restless on his throne as a howling darkness began to assemble just beyond the mountain rise to the east. The blight came upon us in droves, flooding forth from the Hellgate with merciless fury. They brought with them a monstrous titan, the Dreadnought, a beast to rival the stature and menace of even the mightiest ancestral. The grotesque giant laid waste to all before him, crushing all in his path. This was a total demonic assault, striking at the heart of Argent Denur as never before. How was it that the behemoth could pass through the demonic gate without warning? We would never know, as though the night sentinels believed treason was at play. Caught off guard, the sentinels scrambled late in defiance of the titan and his horde, and with his coming, the holy city of Taras Nabad prepared for judgment. With the onslaught of the demons massed in the sprawling shadow of the abhorrent fiend, the city shook to its foundation. None were spared, save those that fled north. The vile swarm ransacked our temples and palaces, burning our towers and feasting on the souls of our clergy. Yet the night sentinels rallied and held fast against the demons, though they were pushed back and corralled into at the blood arena. As the dark of night descended, their swords remained potent and shred the enemy multitude with abandon. With abandon. As the dark of night descended, their swords remained potent and shred the enemy multitude with... Okay. Okay, it makes sense now. I had to read that sentence again. Shred the enemy multitude with abandon. Amidst the unyielding ranks of the Sentinels, when all other apprentices had fallen in battle, stood the outlander. Rip and tear, he roared, ferocious in battle. The remaining conscripts of the arena stood in awe as they witnessed the beast who had once raged within their very cells. Now, armored alongside the shoulders of his sentinel brethren, he had risen where none other had before, a true-born sentinel fighter, the very best among them. But though the swarm fell before the air assault, the titan remained invincible, for none could tame the behemoth alone. In the hours before dawn, as the night sentinels weathered the relentless assault, the outlander held his ground at the foot of the gate, gate wall, great wall, in the northern bend of the castle, seeing his unending vigor, Samur, Chancellor of the Mother God, hurried the Outlander away under veil of secrecy and, for a reason unknown, submitted him to a right untold. This was heresy, for Samur received no consent from the comm maker, nor did he receive her counsel. In the Chapel of Purity, the Outlander submitted himself to the Divinity Machine. There, Samur Maker, the Seraphim known only to us, known to us only as the aid to the Mother God, blessed the Outlander with fierce speed and power to match his will. It was the method by which his trans this transfusion took place that was most uncertain to us, for we were of the knowledge that the Maker device bestowed onto the Argenta so many generations ago was to be used by the priests only to find the impurity among us. How could it be that the device that was meant to cull the sentinel breed of its contaminants could then be used 
to purify the Outlander's body and give rise to the one who would lead us to battle and to battle henceforth. What rose from the holy coffin on that fateful day was not the impure abomination the Covenant warned us of. The hero within would come to be known only as the Great Slayer, the Time Walker, the Warrior Khan, whose fire sword would blaze forth the path for the just and cut through the demonic horde with a vengeance that only a god king could summon. He rose unbroken by the ritual, his eyes burning with maker magic. He took the crucible in his hand, and wraith fire leapt forth from the blade, as only it will when hold by a true sentinel warrior king. In our darkest hour, the Slayer had been chosen, defying tradition, our most sacred laws, and the will of the great Khan herself. A stranger to our lands had been blessed with celestial might. Oh. Also known as Doom Guy gets really angry. Alright, we need to hurry up and get to some fighting. I cannot stand by and watch as you put our future at risk. Well, we then try and stop it. It's not a very compelling argument. Ah, Dag Grav. Ah, Dag Grav remains the most powerful of the Hell Priests among the people of Argent and Ur, frequently visiting his ancient homeworld to lord over the populace. Arrogant and pompous, Grav calls for blood sport in the arena to entertain the fallen citizens of Sentinel Prime. Since the demonic invasion of Earth began, he has operated on the planet's surface along with his fellow Hell Priests to direct Hell's forces, but after the deaths of Dag Nilox and Dag Ranak, he has fled to the safety of the arena. It was Dag Grav who facilitated the torment and eventual betrayal of Sentinel Commander Valen, taking the keys to the Sepulchre of Elements and opening the Vault of the Sleeping Wraiths. The ancient creatures were abducted, transported to Hell, and tortured to siphon away their power. He used the heart of Valen's son to animate the Icon of Sin, a titan still spoken of in legend throughout Argentina. The Icon of Sin, also known as... Was it John Carmack's head on a stick, or was it Romero's head on a stick? Either way, one of their head on a stick. And you shoot it with a rocket launcher. Blah! Whoa! Did I just, like... Uh, uh... Not sure how that works. Ladies and gentlemen, I am punching the demons to death. Through the bars on their cells. I'm just that angry. And they are just that shit fistingly frightened of me. That's funny. <laughs> uh, fast travel unlocked. Guess what? I can go fast traveling in case they missed anything. Good god, there's another page to read. Ah, oh, gladiator. Oh boy, I bet this is what I'm about to fight! In the years following the end of the Golden Age, competing factions of Argent and Ur turned against one another. An insidious influence had beset itself upon the Sentinel people, corrupting its once-held sacred traditions. The Colosseum, once a place of honorable combat where prisoners of the Argenta were tested for the right to fight on, in the front lines of their army, has since become a place of blood sport. In violation of Sentinel law, the priests have encaged a demon there, a merciless executioner used to enact judgment of their own decree. The gladiator, wielding an accursed shield which entombs the tormented soul of, an, of his undying... An accursed shield which entombs the tormented soul of his undying master remains undefeated in battle, infamous for the many lives it has claimed. Well... We're going to kill it now. We're going to kill it. It's going to be dead. There's going to be blood everywhere. It's going to be a fucking mess. Oh, you are just a treat. And I found everything in the map. All right.
<laughs> You'll make a fine addition to the front line, Street. The demons! They are everywhere. Must kill them all! Dress his wounds and bring him to us. I want to know more about the others he speaks of. Yes, he agrees. <laughs> If Sentinel Holy Blood is spilled on these grounds, you will lose all sovereignty here. Flash green, it's about to attack. Shoot him when its eyes are green to stagger him. So I'm shooting him when the eyes are green. Not shooting very well when the eyes were green. I must work on my timing. Did say shoot him when the eyes flash green to stagger him. You're not staggering very well. Unless, you know, I'm just slowly doing my damage to him. Is likely that I'm also just bad at shooting. Like there, where I totally. There we go, that's a stagger. Excuse me, sir, let me punch you. Yeah, we're not done. Stop. 
stand the eyeball of your shield. Now you don't have your shield anymore. How does that make you feel? Ah, oh, now he goes, oh, super fast, more aggressive, wider variety, spins, returns. Gladiator spins one of its flails, it returns attacks back to the flare. Okay, it reflects. When his flash is green, he's about to strike. Just put that health back. Not doing too hot here. Ow! It's a good thing I got all these extra lives. not reflect all my attacks back into my face. Damn it! Self? Fuck! way. Still have another health bar to get through. This 
this stops nothing. Earth will be consumed, regardless of what... Blood punch upgrade. Glory kills on heavy demons now instantly charged to blood punch. Thumbs down. Okay, so maybe I misinterpreted the health bar ticks at the top. He was a two stage fight, not a three stage fight. Yeah. Yeah, I got a thing for. 10,000 Doom Guy experience. Things. All right. See, this is where the BFG would be great, right there. The joke is, is that she thinks that, you know, I'm trapped in here with a bunch of demons. But the joke is, is they're trapped in here with me. Because I'm the fucking Doom guy. And now I'm angry. Anyways, let's go turn the power back on. All right, portal. This is the Resistance Network, broadcasting live from inside the Arctic safe zone. There was a Slayer sighting on Phobos. Eyewitness reports say that he was spotted inside a command center and then proceeded to fight his way through the mortally challenged and onto the deck of the BFG 10K. This can't be confirmed, but many believe it was the Slayer himself who destroyed Mars in an attempt to stop the Challenged from further advancing their position on Earth. We will post more information as it comes in. This is an ARC broadcast. Yes, it was me. I put a hole in Mars. Anyways, let's see. Got some more things I can pick up. I think I got some batteries to spend. Let's go get that suit token down there. Hey, who put that up there? There's a secret up there. Hmm. I'll find a way up there somehow. There's a 
secret. Secret, secret. Anyways, let's start with things I know I can do that aren't jump up super high. Uh, looks like I'm going to find a different way in there because that looks like pathways from somewhere else. I just... No, I've definitely gone up those stairwells before. I don't know why they're not filled in. Probably because I just came back here and the map resets every time I come back. Anyways! Suit token. some suit points. I got three suit points. Oh, I don't want to do that. Or just wait until I have the second second grenade charge. I might just want to wait until the second grenade charge. I don't know. The stagger blast seems useful. Think on it. I got 11 gun points to spend though now, so uh, I should definitely spend some of those. Heat blast charge. Kill two with a single blast 30 times. Let's see. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Oh, I don't have six. 11 minus six is five. Damn it. I can't count, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot count. Anyways. I do believe this is where we're going to wrap it up for this part. I wonder if I have any more. I think most of the other things I could get into with my sentinel batteries now are pretty much just cosmetic things because i've got just two more secrets to find here one of them is up there Thing in there. There's something down too. Oh, I bet that's inside that building there. I only have one battery though, so can't get in there right now. So, nope, because you know it timed out just to be right about that time to time out for the episode. Nice how that works out. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to wrap it up for this part. Once again, I thank you all for watching. I hope you've been enjoying. As always, if you have any suggestions or recommendations for games that you think I should play that might make for a good series like this at some point in the future, can I not put more keys towards the Unmaker, or is that not the thing to do it at? Or if you just wish to give me a shout, give me some feedback. Let me know how I'm doing. Am I doing good? Am I doing bad? If I'm doing bad, what can I do to go from doing bad to doing good? Or if you just wish to inform me that I am a terrible person because that boss fight against the, the gladiator was messy. I burned like, what, four or five lives on that thing? Holy shit. You may inform me of such in the comment box below. PC, PS4, and Switch for recording suggestions as that is all that I can currently record on right now. And as always, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, then please subscribe to the channel. That way you'll be kept up to date whenever I post up new videos and then you won't ever have to miss out on any of the shenanigans going down in this my little corner of the internet. 
Also, if you know of anyone else who might enjoy watching this sort of thing, please share this video or one of my other videos with them. Point them in my general direction so maybe they might potentially swing by and be amused by the shenanigans that go down in this little corner of the internet. Also, you should follow me on Twitter, at NanoElite666, as I'll be using that to make news updates and announcements and such regarding the channel whenever the need should arise in the future. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, once again, I thank you all for watching. I hope you've been enjoying. I'm NanoElite666, and I will see you all next time, where we will have taken a bit of a break, because now I'm going to go back and replay the Mars level and get the BFG again. Hopefully that works, so we can actually use it for the rest of the game, because that will make life much, much easier.